Greetings gamer folk, welcome back to Tidal Lock Gaming, I'm Michael. And I'm Aaron. And we are glad to have you back on the channel with our first episode of Accompaniment. Accompaniment is a segment where we're going to make video game themed drinks and or food that are accompaniment <laughs> to the games that we're playing on the channel. So the first episode is titled Leviathan Class Drinks, coming from Subnautica, which Aaron had to Leviathan Class drink his way through. <laughs> this is true, I'm afraid of the ocean. Uh, in this episode, we're going to teach you to make the Re uh, Reaper Leviathan, Sea Dragon Leviathan, the Ghost Leviathan, and the ever-popular Courage Margarita. So thanks for joining us, and let's jump right into a compliment. Starting off with the famous and hated Reaper Leviathan from Subnautica, um, I thought of something pina colada based for the bluish whitish hue of its skin and then for the red and its lovely little face grabbers. So we're going to start with our glass here and get some of these nondescript licorice red sticks. <laughs> so these are going to be our little face tentacles. Line these up in here real nice. We're gonna go ahead and put in some ice to hold these guys still, theoretically. That'll do it for me. All right. So we're gonna start with four ounces of a pina colada mix. Damn slippery ice. There we go. Stuff's so thick and syrupy, it's almost gross. Get that real quick. Alrighty. So now that we have our base of a mix in there, we're gonna go ahead and put in two ounces of a coconut liquor. I like Malibu, but everybody's got their own uh, some. I'm going to go for the Parrot Bay Rum. And we're going to shake that up real nice. This will be our nice white base for the drink. Mm, beautiful. Now, I had originally thought about trying to layer the strawberry on top because the Reaper Leviathan has a red face. But then it turns out, once you mix this mix with the alcohol, it becomes less dense than the red is. So we're just going to put the red on the bottom. I'm only using a layering spoon so that it won't spill all over the place on the table here. And this you can add to taste. I like to kind of top off the glass. Go, let that bad boy seep down there a little bit. And give it a moment to settle. And once it sinks to the bottom, we'll have our Reaper Leviathan. For our next drink on accompaniment, we're gonna go with the Sea Dragon Leviathan, a popular monster you fight in Subnautica as well. Or I guess run from, not really fight, let's be honest. Except, Michael has been a badass and had to go kill one. Great white hunter of the sea. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start with uh, four ounces of a sour mix. I wanted to go something um, tropical based with this one as well, with it being an underwater theme. Um, so I remembered swamp waters, which are using melon liquor and sour mix, but instead of going with like a pineapple juice and blue curacao touch after that. I thought, what could we do that's more dragon themed? What's gonna make you think sea dragon? So I just took the name dragon and we came up with dragonberry rum. So for this, we're gonna get an ounce and a half of dragonberry rum. 
Got that in there real nice. And then we're gonna finish it off to give it the nice green color like a sea dragon leviathan. We're gonna go with two ounces of a melon liquor. Uh, Midori's the go-to, but I'm cheap. I think one too many Midori induced hangovers. I don't even like looking at the bottle. So let's mix this up real nice. Put some ice in my glass here. This should come out of a nice green. So it's a little lighter green than the Sea Dragon is itself. But I had finished this and thought it wasn't enough. What's that extra touch that really makes it the Sea Dragon? And I thought, since they breathe fireballs at you in the game, why not give it a little accompaniment of fireball whiskey? So you have your sea dragon and the fireball that he's breathed at you. To finish off our Leviathan class drinks here on accompaniment, I thought we'd go with the last one that you run into that's hostile, uh, at least in the base game, which is your ghost Leviathan. So I thought, what can I do this blue and ghostly? So I immediately thought hypnotic, and I know this bottle is practical joke big, but um, I guess during the quarantine, uh, hypnotic is really popular. So <laughs> everywhere was sold out except out of the really big ass one. So in this one, we're gonna start as usual with our shaker. Get two ounces of hypnotic to give it that nice bluish hue. I don't know about you, but I love the taste of hypnotic. I could just drink this shit straight. And a little extra just because. This is Florida, we're all drunk here. All right. Now we're gonna go with two ounces of our coconut rum. Now this one is gonna be a little bit more on the sneaky side because it's not gonna overly taste like it, but we're not putting any kind of mixer in here. It's just all alcohol. And we're gonna to top it off with an ounce and a half of peach schnapps. Now it may sound 100% ridiculous to mix all these things together, but our research team has tasted it and so far it's good. <laughs> And for the full mysterious glow effect. Yes, we sprung for these weird ass ice cubes. And there's your ghost Leviathan. Normally our plan and structure here on accompaniment is to only present you with three drinks. That way we don't bore you too long with our alcoholism. However, in this particular instance, I wanted to share with you the Courage Margarita recipe that I use in order to play Subnautica because I'm a little bitch afraid of the ocean. We're gonna start by salting the edge of this glass. So get it nice and wet with lime juice there. three or four with what we're making. Now we'll start with the sour mix. Oh, get some ice in here too. So for this one we're gonna need four ounces of sour mix. I'm gonna put a half ounce of orange liquor, or triple sec. Come on. As you can see from the state of the bottle, I drink a lot of these. <laughs> half ounce of brandy. One and a half ounces of tequila. 
Uh, we're just using Montezuma because this is Florida and we will drink anything. There we go. Get that in there and then we have to finish it off with the juice from a quarter of a lime. So we're just gonna squeeze that in there as I send part of it all over the table. There we go, really get it out of there. Now, if you're drinking this around the gaming table, I definitely recommend skipping the salt if you can bear it. Then we'll garnish it with the nice little lime we used to rim the edge. One courage margarita. So here we are in the aftermath of our first episode of A Compliment. And we're going to taste test each one of these. Like, I know they're good because I don't put out a bar drink unless I'm, you know, satisfied with it. So let's go ahead and start with the Reaper Leviathan. <laughs> Part the tendrils as you drink. Yes. Or you can do the full. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. Who knew the missing ingredient to the pina colada was strawberry? Yeah. Maybe the guy who invented the oh, strawberry pina colada. Oh. Smells Probably. like death. Why do you always smell them? Oh. It smells everything. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice little like. Yeah, the, I feel like the strawberry really adds to it. It doesn't take away from the regular pina colada at all. And if you tip it enough, because of the way it's layered, yeah. you get both flavors. And the best part is, you don't have to scream while that thing's in your face. But that's also true. Okay. All right, so for the sea dragon, should we go with the little bit of fireball first and then wash it down with the good stuff? I don't know. I think you see him and then he kills you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Memories of bad decisions. Yeah, very, very melody. Oh. That, that's decent though. Is that the one with the peach schnapps? No, that's the. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ! Do it. Like a big old red gum. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like drinking big big red gum. It really is. Like just. Yep. Motherfucking champion over All here. Right. <laughs> okay, now, Ghost of Leviathan. This one's so pretty. <gasps> now, if you don't like schnapps. This one's probably not going to be as great because of the schnapsy bite to it at the end. I don't really know how to describe that properly. I'm sure anything would taste better than the fireball. <laughs> <gasps> so in order to really like that one, you need to like the citrusy taste of hypnotic. And then I'm a huge fan of peach schnapps to begin with. So a drink like that's awesome. Yeah, I, I'm not a big schnapps fan. It's it's drinkable, but it's not something I would be excited about it. Well, I mean, with so. the, it's it's any drink you order with glowing ice cubes in it, you're ordering it because there's glowing ice cubes in it. Yeah, yes, it's very much <laughs> yes. a fleshy drink. Yeah. Okay, now your favorite, right? Oh, yeah. We love these. There's a reason that I, I had to go get more tequila. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the Courage Margarita literally got him through the game. Um, well, I, I felt bad because, like, I was trying to give honest reactions of how terrified I was of everything. But then you get that you get that liquid courage and then it's just like, bring it on, motherfucker. Actually, he was so terrified he wasn't speaking. As I'm sure you remember, it was mainly however many episodes of me just monologuing about how Aaron was being scared in the seat and telling him what to do to beat the game. I so, don't do ocean, man. The man who loves the sea, but That's, hates the sea. It's an enigma. That's not bad. Very salty. No, I was salt. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like you're in the ocean? Yeah. Yeah. Swimming amongst the islands. No, it's fitting in that way. I feel like yes. it's like when you get hit by a wave mm -hmm. in the water. Yeah. yeah. Like, ah. that's what it feels like. But does it make you feel courageous? <laughs> Some do. <Yeah. laughs> you have no taste. No, actually, <laughs> so. your, movie, your movie Wizard of Oz. Courage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think two of those, and mentally I would shift from freaking out to, I want to punch that Leviathan in the face. I love He didn't say that one time, so. did he? We know. Yes. We'll get there maybe. Someday. Alright, well, these have all been enjoyable, at least as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, absolutely. It was, I think it was yes, a success. Great. Yes. 
All right, so thanks for joining us here on our first episode of Accountant Accountant Mint. And we will see you next time on Title Lock Gaming. Next time.